it breaks down in three key areas that we'll talk about this week is your preparation, your location, and then your tools. What's up? How you doing? Welcome back to this edition of A Moment of Clarity. Now, before I start, did you bring somebody with you? We'll talk about how you do that later. Listen, I'm excited to be able to talk about a couple of things this week. And this, you know, make sure you got to tune in this week, right? Because I'm going to break down these things throughout the videos this week. So we just had something happen in our country for a lot of people uh, was traumatic. And it was traumatic because in one part of the country, they weren't prepared for it. But in other parts of the country, it was just like another Tuesday or Wednesday, right? Uh, it was the snow. It was the frigid Arctic blast that hit the state of Texas. And what it had me thinking about is, are we ready for what's coming, right? And when you think about, are you ready for what's coming? It breaks down in three key areas that we'll talk about this week is your preparation, your location, and then your tools. All right. So let's talk about preparation for a second is that when you talk about, you know, where I grew up in Detroit, you know, you get snow. We never canceled school because of snow, right? You're going to bundle up, put that hood on where you can only see about this tight, right? You're going to put them gloves on, stand at the bus stop, let that wind hit you, get on, you go to school, you go to practice, you do your day, right? In the state of Texas, because their infrastructure was not prepared for what was going on, they had no heat, and some other stuff, which turned into a catastrophe. It felt like an apocalypse when I talked to people down in Texas. And, and so that leads us to what my first point when it comes to preparation is, have you done your research for what's coming, right? Have you done your research, right? Have you saved the money that you need to save? Maybe your kids are getting ready to go off to college. Have you saved the money for the house that you want or the car that you want? Have you put the things in place for the business? Are you preparing yourself, right, for to lose the weight or the goals that you set? Are you doing the research to take into account what it's going to cause cause you to do to make it happen, right? Second thing I want you to I want you to think through. Have you actually started practicing, right? The lights aren't on. I'm a sports guy. I'm a music guy. There's all these things that happen before the lights come on that you can actually practice. And think about it. In the state of Texas, had they practiced some of their theories or these probabilities that they had gone through, they would have known that they what weren't prepared. So then the last thing, are you tweaking kind of that preparation plan? Are you tweaking, you know, that things that you're finding out in research? Are you making adjustments, right? Because it's one thing to do your research, it's one thing to do some practice, but it's another thing to make tweaks as you're preparing for what's coming. So listen, it's been this edition of A Moment of Clarity. I appreciate you jumping in and, and checking me out. And I want you to do me a favor, because see, some of y'all still haven't done it. Go tell a neighbor or a friend, bring them with you the next time. And as you're doing that, do me a favor, share it, like it, subscribe to it, and then put in the comments, let me know are you prepared for the season that you say that you've been praying for, you've been hoping for, you've been dreaming for? Like, I want to know, because if you're prepared and I want to hear what those goals and, and those dreams sound like so we can encourage each other. Because remember, we are in this together. And the only way we're going to get better is together. And until next time, I'll see you then.